A diver is brushing off debris from an ancient shipwreck. The so-called mortar wreck was discovered in 2020. Scientists were able to test the timbers of the ship and determine that it dates back to the 13th century. The 750-year-old site is the oldest known wreck in which the ship's hull is still visible. It last saw Man. land during the... Let me upscale the problem then. Something that's more personal so you get, you get, you get, it, you get it. Okay. You're coming home from work, okay? And you're at home, okay? And then, and then, okay? He decided to buy flowers. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm buying flowers because I want to, man. Right? And then, you give her the flowers, and you get no juice that night. You get no juice. You don't get a sucky. You don't get nothing. Right? Is it okay for you to get mad that you didn't get the juice? Did you get mad? That's, to me, if you, if you get mad, and you have any sort of idea that you could, you, you could get mad... You should never buy gifts then. Expect them to be transactional. It's fucking weird as shit. It's just fucking weird. It is so weird. The reign of King Henry III. For comparison, here's a castle built during the same era. The mortar wreck got its name from the grinding bowls or mortars found in its hull. A maritime archaeologist explains what else his team has discovered in the wreck. This pot is a cauldron, so this would have been for Thanks, their yeah. daily Thanks. pottage. You make a big soup with all sorts of bits of fish or meat in there. And the smaller one was just, would have had a much longer handle and you could all- You live online, it's actually hilarious. Dude, I've given back a lot of fucking people's wads or whatever the fuck, I don't, I don't care. Put that into the fire if you want it to nice hot water after a cold night at sea. But it's quite interesting, I've seen a picture of one of these on a medieval manuscript where they're cooking on the back of a whale. And that's not all. Is this girl, is this girl, she took her iPhone somewhere? And as I took it home, and I, I called a bunch of people, okay, to give her her phone back. Uh, through her phone and finally uh, uh she picks up okay and then it, and then it was a guy or a girl so finally she picks up and after i'm trying to tell her that I'm, I'm i just want to give her her phone she starts getting being sketched out she started being sketched the fuck out okay that um oh like um she thought i was like baiting her to, to be weird she thought i was like trying to like roping her in somehow i'm like she needs to start asking a bunch of my info and being like very like defensive and shit like that. And I'm like, I just want, I just want to give you your phone, you know, like, I just, like, it's not, it's not, it's crazy. I mean, do you want your fucking phone or not? And she's being whatever, so I just, I just got rid of it. So the most spectacular thing we found are these grave slabs of two different oh, designs. Man. These are in immaculate condition, like they were carved yesterday. You can still see all the chisel marks. The mortar wreck was found in the pool bay off Dorset in Southern England. The area was recently given legal protection to help preserve the site. Archaeologists hope to raise funds to be able to continue their exploration and learn more about this piece of history on the sea's floor. This is Inside Edition Digital. Interesting. I'm being careful. There's there's a I think it's been being careful and being like um really weird. I think sometimes you can kind of tell, there's like these social cues.